Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand how we can manage our code in SOAP UI using Git. So first we need to understand what is the requirement of the code management. When we work on any automation project, you will notice many professionals are working on the same automation project and the code which I am creating, I am writing will be useful for the other people's other automation tester and the code that written by other members that will be useful for me like I'm going to use that code so whatever the code a team is writing or whatever the test case team is creating everybody going to share their code with the other team members so I can take an example when teams are working when multiple members are working in a team and I want to share my code with the other members I'm not going to send my code by, by email or by any shared drive. We are going to use any code management tool where we can write our code like I'm writing my code and the, my team member are putting their code on a centralized location and we all can access complete code from the centralized location. So for this complete process for sharing the code with others, I'm going to use a tool which is Git. So code management in SOAP UI, we are going to use tool Git. In Git, we are going to understand Git and GitHub. So what's the difference between the Git and GitHub? By the next image, we can understand what is a Git and GitHub. So each and every person who is working in the team, it's going to install a soft software Git. And we have a centralized repository where we are going to put our code. We all are putting our code into a centralized repository and that centralized repository we call GitHub. So here you can understand like we have a three team members, Fred, Dave and Lisa all have installed Git on their machine. They are sharing the code with each other by using GitHub. Like if I'm a Dave, I want to share my code with the Lisa. So what I'm doing, I'm putting my code on the centralized repository, which is GitHub and Lisa is picking that code from the centralized repository. So I'm not giving my code directly to the Lisa. I'm putting the code into the GitHub and other team members are taking the code from the GitHub, which is a centralized repository. So here we got the understanding what is Git and GitHub. So Git is a software which is installed on the each and every individual machine where we are going to use Git and GitHub is a centralized repository. Next, we, we have to understand how to set up Git because first we need to set up Git on a, each and every machine. Then we need to create a GitHub repository. So I'll show you all the process. So in second step, we need to set up Git. Each and every person who are working in the team need to set up Git on the local machine. So that's the URL https git-scm.com forward slash downloads. If we go there, it automatically detect our OS and shows like you need to download it for Windows. We have different OS options. I need to select for Windows. So I just click on that. It is started downloading. Once it is downloaded, just start the installer. Click on run button. Here it's a simple process. Just process next, next, next. So I'm just using the same options. So once it is installed successfully, we are going to get this message. I'm just click on the finish. And here we are going to start menu. I'm checking git. We are getting git bash over here. So if you are getting git bash means everything installed successfully. And here I want to check git. So you will notice we are getting as I've written git here on a git bash, we are getting different options, means git is installed successfully. That's all we have for this session. Here we have seen what is git and github, how to set up git. In next session, we will create a repository and I'll show you how we can share the code with the different members. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.